Match reporter is Rob Palmer. It just wasn't going to be Hitchin's day. They were later arriving than the proverbial Saturday afternoon bride. It's nearly ten past two. It's quite worrying, isn't it? Where are it they? It is, I don't know. It's the first time Gary's actually gone on the coach for a match. He normally comes with me and my dad and he's always early. Where have you been? Where have you been? Having breakfast. <laughs> Sorry, since you got a minute to get in there. We got about five miles on the motorway and the throttle spring broke. So we had to pull into the services and lucky enough I was able to rectify the fault and we were able to continue the journey. Hitchin without four key players, including two in Hong Kong, and one in prison, not surprisingly, made a hasty start. Only for a patch in the middle of the first half did they look like providing any kind of upset. Ken Gillard forcing the experienced Jim Stannard into a flying save. Gillard was the ISIS League team's outstanding player. His free kick on the stroke of half-time was their last memorable goal-bound effort. As the non-leaguers tired, Gillingham got into their stride. Eight minutes into the second half, Paul Watson, Dennis Bailey and Simon Ratcliffe combined. Leo Fortune West finished 1-0. From then on, Hitchin had to pitch in to keep the score down. It was a wall of bodies which stopped Dave Martin scoring. But with half an hour to go, with slick movement and a wallboard pass off Fortune West, Simon Ratcliffe scored a goal of class. Now Hitchin's legs were tiring and Fortune West was getting stronger and stronger. Only Jerry Sylvester, the Hitchin keeper, could stop him scoring. But not for long. Fortune West is a player who's going to cost a fortune when clubs come from north, east, south and west to take notice of him. He curled in, undoubtedly one of the goals of the round. Six foot four, bright, willing to learn, athletic, 11 goals this season. Gillingham are going to have a job holding on to him with adverts like this. The only downside of the game was Fortune West failure to score a hat-trick, but the find from non-league footballs, a toast of Kent this weekend. It's nice, I mean, especially here, it's, it's a good setup here. And what about the FA Cup? It's the inevitable question, it's going to be asked a million times tonight. Who next? Yeah, well, I think the league's more important for us, but um, hopefully a big club up. Big club at home, really. Yeah. I won't say who. Anyone will do. Who do you support? Club. I'm armchair fan of Man United. <laughs>